So I realized that I'm going to be, you know, putting to bed very soon. So you want to vlog outside and then you have carrying your camera. The, the courage to even bring out your camera in the first place. Oh my God, I had to struggle with that for a while. I'm like, I haven't got to the location and go and spend money and I'm going to vlog. I'm trying to bring out my camera and they're like, no, we don't use phones here. We don't use cameras here. So trying to talk to other YouTubers, like bigger YouTubers or growing YouTubers. So not like big, big, not like the d man, not like those big, big ones, but like the growing ones, right? Let me say thank you to Bumsy Sports. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Precious Deary. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. And if you're a recent subscriber, you're the real OG and that's on period. <laughs> okay guys, so um, another sit down video coming through your way. So I just wanted to discuss something quickly and I wanted you guys to, you know, speak with me, talk about it with me. And it's the downside of YouTube, right? Yes, I've not been here for so long, but I've been here for a while to be able to talk about this. And it's about, you know, just starting up YouTube and the discouragement, you know, and all of the emotions and all of the things that I've experienced so far being a YouTuber. And I want you to watch up until the end, especially if you're considering, you know, starting a YouTube channel or if you just started a YouTube channel or even if you have, you know, started a YouTube channel for a while and you would like to like tell me the things that you experienced at your beginning stage and you know all of those good stuff so let's just get right into the video right 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 i'd like to also put it out here that my hair is from void hair so if you like it i'll put a handle on the screen so that you can you know go and follow her tell her you're from precious dairy and she'll be sure to give you a discount okay so and one more thing you can also pay in installment so you can pay two times right so um let's move past that and get into the video <laughs> So guys, um, today I'd like to speak about, like I already said, and like the topic already suggests, YouTube and all the things that, you know, the emotions, all the discouragement, everything that I went through in the beginning phase. I'm still even going through some, but let me talk about it like the early, early stage. So thinking about getting on YouTube was for me, you know, story time, okay? It was for me um, out of... So during pregnancy, I was in a lot of watching of YouTube channels because it was taking, it was helping me kill boredom and it was just keeping me calm, keeping, keeping me company, so to speak, and keeping me engaged, right? I wasn't going to work anymore because I was like way, way pregnant, all the, all the way pregnant. So I was home most of the time and I was always on YouTube watching YouTube channel. Bouncy sports and lovely gifts came through for me. Like I literally watched all their videos up until that particular time. I'd watched all their videos. I loved watching their videos, the two of them. Bomsi happens to be my in-law, my sister-in-law, and um, Lovely Gifts is a friend to Bomsi that I, I, I knew through Bomsi's channel. So I connected her online via Bomsi's channel. I've never even met her before, right? So that's by the way, but I'm saying that, you know, they kept me, they sustained me <laughs> all through that journey. Yes, but that was where the flair for opening my own YouTube channel came from. So I thought about it, like, okay, I kind of know that I like to speak, right? I also know that I like adventure. I like stuff that, you know, I, that intrigues me, that is interesting, that is different. And my, my, personal, my personality and my lifestyle is very career-based. And I was thinking, how do I now do this? But I was like, okay, what do I want to talk about? So I realized that I'm going to be, you know, putting to bed very soon. And it was going to make sense for me to, you know, share my journey for other moms. Because what happened to me during pregnancy was, I didn't really have so many people that I could speak to and say, oh, what happened? But I had some people, but there were not so many in the beginning period, right? To just speak to and say, oh, and I know you may be thinking, what about your mom? But you know, you sometimes you want to talk to your age mate. You want to talk to someone that, you know, can relate to your current position, right and i just want to get a lot of ideas and lots of you know experiences i didn't really find that so much in the beginning time until later but yes i said that i was going to share on youtube my journey and you know just talk about stuff and i realized that okay lifestyle as well is something i like so i could talk about that i could also show some things and all of that so that's why i got into the old youtube streets thing right and yes i'm enjoying it here so far but i just want to run through you know some things that i found challenging in the beginning i just want to like not in not in any particular order but i just like to run through some of the things i found challenging one would be filming outdoor right <laughs> like so you want to vlog outside and then you're carrying your camera the the courage to even bring out your camera in the first place oh my god i had to struggle with that for a while i'm like this is so weird. It's not awkward. How do I do this? And I've made mouth at home. Do content calendar. I'm vlogging today. I'm going to... I haven't got to the location. I'm going to spend money and I'm not vlog. 
then second then eventually i now figured that okay i could actually vlog now i had the confidence for that then i now get to the place and i'll try to bring out my camera and they're like no we don't use phones here we don't use cameras here tell me about it and the funny thing is some of the locations are places i've seen vloggers vlog so i'm like what's going on here is it me what did i do and one day i was talking to my friend she was like are you sure they don't want you to give them money like money for what like how am i they didn't ask now am i supposed to now go and say ah okay i want to vlog ah, you don't want me to vlog take take 2k bruh that thing looks like bright to me i'm not i'm not in for all of that i beg i don't so i'm like i don't know i don't, I don't think that's the case i don't know maybe i don't know <laughs> maybe they know those influencers and maybe that i don't know they don't know me yet so maybe that's a problem but you guys um just starting out youtube and all that can you please tell me what your experiences have been with vlogging in like outdoor spaces restaurants and stuff please let me know how you manage how you go through with that then secondly something i like to talk about is you know this um trying to talk to other youtubers like bigger youtubers or growing youtubers so not, not like big big not like the demand not like those big big ones but like the growing ones right i find that for me it was it was okay at least to some reasonable extent um i spoke with lovely gifts and a big shout out to her please help me go and thank her on her channel please go and say precious diri says thank you for you know carrying her true at least to some point on our youtube journey please help me say thank you to her let me say thank you to bumsy sports she also did well right i remember when i reached out to her for something and then she came through for me right then lovely gifts also then lovely gifts also you know helping me and just answering my questions you know when i, I lovely gifts was even like i went to her like maybe five times <laughs> and she answered me all five times without any form of you know attitude or any form of i'm so grateful that she did and if in fact i later found that 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 period where she was like attending to my questions and stuff was when she was even planning relocation so I, i'm really grateful i'm thankful she's gonna watch this thank you gifts i really appreciate you thank you so much so yes back to it I find that a lot of people say, oh, you know, I've tried to talk to this YouTuber and they're just like, snobbing me, ignoring me. I'm not saying you should go and tell people that uh, maybe film lifestyle content that you want to come and vlog and collaborate and come and say something off from their, their niche, right? It's not also compulsory for them to collaborate with you. What I'm saying is that, you know, the, the, the attitude, the response, the, the response type, not... You know when somebody responds to you in a way that is very breaking that's not happening that's not happened to me but i find that other youtubers say that that happens to them a lot and discourages them so much but yeah that's that now the next one will be the trolls so yes you can be wondering that i'm precious you're never from 1k subscribers you already have trolls yes so there was this day that i filmed a video it was just a clip right and what has happened was that my car was supposed to be at the mechanic for them to fill the gas for the ac and I couldn't take it there. They couldn't come and get it that particular day. And I already had on my ca content calendar that I was going to film. And of course, no early early stage YouTubers, ginger motivation. I was like, no, I must film it like that. Whether the devil likes it or not. So I was filming this video in the car, and then I was dripping sweat like this. This part was good, but I don't know why this part and the makeup on my face. This part was just dripping. But yeah, it was fine. I was like, what's going on? I tried to dab and all that with Sushi because I didn't have handkerchief. Sushi was having like, so I was like, no, you know what? I'm going to fill, finish this clip. I did. And during post production, right, when I was trying to edit the video, hey, <laughs> guys, I now realized that there was nothing I could do about that sweating. It was too bad. So I said, okay, you know what? I will, I will edit. I edited my face so much that, oh my God, I was looking funny. And I felt like people would just pass that part. <laughs> when I uploaded it, someone now commented, that she does not see the need why African ladies like to bleach their skin. Their skin tone, their face will be fairer than their neck. Their... And I responded, no ma'am, I didn't bleach my skin. You can check my other clips. It was actually, you know, something that happened during my filming. And I had to use a tool on this particular application to edit it. I was just explaining, like who's writing jam. She now replied me and said, wow that she's amazed at the fact that i responded in this manner that she's so proud that uh she understands better now blah blah blah, blah. i'm like whatever <laughs> so yeah that was it so 
that, that that's that that could be trolling right you can say it's not trolling but that could be trolling because i felt somehow like the way your message came or somehow yeah but thank god i wasn't even bleaching and then she called me out like that what if i was bleaching out? and i feel like oh <laughs> but yeah that's by the way so um one more thing right would be the fact that nobody tells you about the gadgets that are involved in this filming thing yes you can film with your phone but what happens when your phone is not very full <laughs> so i had a lot of storage issues in the beginning and this might look like oh is it just that style points yes i find that a lot of youtubers also have this challenge thank god i really i react to buy another phone like so that i can have two backups i bought two, another phone so that was how, that because of youtube i bought this phone i'm using right now and that's that's the truth because of youtube but yes i'm glad i did um, i had to buy some you know device that gadgets for youtube and then no one tells you about the price <laughs> so yes i bought all of that the next point i'd like to drive at quickly is copyrights oh my god i'm not pro in this one but you can watch people like killer ching bemena i can recommend that you watch our videos on you know copyrighted and uh, music and how to get copyright free music right but that was something i struggled with too oh my god i filmed videos posted and then copyright i deleted them like i know that it affected my watch hour because why exactly am i copyrighted as an <sighs> but i can't say that i'm a pro at it right now but i know that i'm doing better and i'm also trying to like still learn about copyright and music but you can also you know tell me your experience with copyright and how you went through and how you you know resolve that and all of that in the comments i love to see that one other thing i struggled with was editing oh my god so not because i could not edit i learned some basic editing skills but sometimes when you have like clips here and there i'm like how do i even put this on it was so chaotic at some point <laughs> it was so chaotic it was so chaotic now i've gotten a hang on it but before now oh my god it was so 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 chaotic now one other thing that i struggled with was you know trying to you know i put so much targets on myself like ah, before next week i must have uh, 1000 subscribers the subscribe the subscribe button was looking at me like <laughs> they play <laughs> that was what i told myself i'm going to have 5k subscribers by two months then apparently you people are not subscribing because i don't know why <laughs> i don't know why why am i not on 5k yet why am i not on 1k yet like a dark way subscribe people should subscribe we go no please subscribe now nah. how can you watch and not subscribe it's just like one click like boop, and you subscribe they don't even charge for it they don't even call them money. No BVM. No passports. Free. Just subscribe. Okay, please. Please, can you subscribe to my channel? <laughs> so, yes, that's one thing that I struggled with. Like, why do I, why are people not subscribe? Am I doing something wrong? Am I doing something wrong? Why are people not subscribing? I want them to subscribe. Can you please subscribe? Do I need to get on the bus and start telling people, please subscribe to my channel? Get on the BRT. I struggled with the discouragements that came from that. Like, people are not subscribing. They don't like me. What They don't like what I'm saying. What am I even saying? But now, we're in a better place. <laughs> because you're subscribing. Nah. <laughs> so, yes, that was one of the things, right? Please let me know how that went for you. If you're a young YouTuber or a big YouTuber or a growing YouTuber, how did that phase go for you? What did you do, right? And all of that. So, yes. Those are the things I like to talk about for today because someone is feeling sleepy. But yeah, those are the things I like to talk about. And let me know what you think about this in the comments. It's not such a serious video, but I mean, it's still serious, right? I'd like to learn from the comments. Please do well to like, comment, share, and do all those good stuff. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. <laughs>